Hello, welcome back to Lawrence Outdoors. I'm Mark, this is my son. I'm Jacob. It's been a while since our last video, our only video. So we're looking to pick that up here. Yep. It's a dreary January day here in Northern Kentucky. And <clears throat> we've seen there's been a lot of talk lately about subscription boxes for anything and everything under the sun. But today we're going to talk about subscription tackle boxes. And there's all kinds of different ones on the market. Um, we'll get to that here in a second. But I myself think it's a fool's errand to subscribe to any of these boxes, even the tackle box and I love the fish. My son thinks it's an interesting concept, and he was thinking about getting one. That's what spurred this whole thing on. Yep, and uh, lucky enough at the local Walmart, there was a box that you could find in a subscription without having to pay for a monthly fee, you know. So we figured we can get this box and see what's inside of it and judge the value. Is there a value? Is Am I the fool? Is he the fool? Is it apples to apples? Who knows? But uh, I saw on Facebook recently in a fishing group, someone said, what would you guys recommend that I spend my subscription box money on? Which box do you think is the best box? And if I replied to those kind of things, I would have said, I think you should save your money and once a month go to your local tackle store and spend that money on a tackle that you want or need from your local supplier mm -hmm. to keep them in business. That's what I said to myself. Yeah. So, like I said, we've been to the Walmart recently, get some new poles, get some, uh, some new baits. We're going to try out some winter fishing here. And... Uh, Speaking of winter fishing, we've done some crappie fishing lately at Kincaid Lake. and uh, Cro Lots of small fish and a few okay fish. Either way, it's fun fishing there to go out there and nail 20 crappie or so. And that, that brings us to our box here. It is the pan fish and trout fishing kit from Mystery Tackle Box. It says five to six awesome baits and it says you'll get a $25 value. We bought this today at Walmart for around $18. They yeah, think it was $17.88 plus tax. So is there $17.88 worth of tackle in here? Is there $25 worth of tackle in here? Or is there about $12.50 in tackle in here? Let's find out. Full disclosure, this is our first ever box opening of this uh, kind of thing, mystery. Any kind of subscription box or anything like that, we normally just get our bait by what we need. So this is our first time doing one of these box openings. So we'll yeah, we legitimately have no idea what's in the box. And we paid for this box. It wasn't given to us. We don't have any any pros or cons for this particular company or any other company. This is this box, and we're going to see what the deal is. Box 52. It's double boxed. Here's what the box looks like outside of the box. Pretty much the same thing in a... It's the same thing, just fancy cardboard. And a, open this up here. Inside you have a... Looks like a ruler. Hey, a cardboard ruler. That uh, <laughs> That's good for nothing, but it sure looks neato. Six foot panfish, trout, bass, walleye, everything else. All right, there's some stuff in there. Here's the box. Looks like there's a mystery tackle box sticker. Is there a I mean, sheet there? That that's a deal. What's in it? With the value markings in. Uh, mystery tackle box. The Dibble. Tips and tricks from mystery tackle box. Fun fact. Casting versus spinning. How to tie a Palomar knot. That's good information. It's a great knot. And where do anglers poop? I don't. I, I usually do it in a toilet. <laughs> but <clears throat> there's that. And this is the mystery tackle box. What's inside? So this is a list of what's inside. And I count one, two, three, four, five. There's six baits inside. No prices either. It doesn't tell you what they cost. Um, however, it looks like they're all name brand tackle. So that's a plus, I would think. There's no no, Jimmy's Tackle you never heard of who works out of his aunt's garage 
and uh, Kokomo. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. I think it's interesting they don't put the prices on there. Well, I guess we'll have to look them up and see what these things cost. Yeah. So right here, first thing on top of the box, we have the Weedless Slab Runner by Bobby Garland, Baby Shad. Whatever that is, we love the Bobby Garland for the crappie, and this looks like a, a decent looking jig. Has a, looks like a spinner on there. Yep, it's got an underspin jig on it with a number two hook, one sixteenth ounce. Comes rigged with a Bobby Garland body, and you get an extra Bobby Garland Bobby body also. I don't think I've ever seen that color in the stores either. It's a nice color. Uh, this is Monkey Milk, which I heard Richard Jean talk about Monkey Milk before. Shout out Richard Jean, the fishing machine. If you never, if you never watched him, check it out because it's good for you. So that's in the box. I bet that's about $3. Definitely catch crappie on that, I would say. Good bait. Up next, we have Tough Tube Mim Mimic Minnow, Northland Fishing Tackle. These looks like some little little small jigs here. Bright color. Looks like the tail on there is pretty actionable. These are tube jigs, looks like. Uh, probably really nice fishing for this time of year in the cold weather because they're nice and small. You get that tough bite. Uh, they're one and a half inches long, and I don't doesn't say how much they weigh, but they don't weigh much. I don't know. I'm trying to shake it there, see if you can get the tail action in there. It's hard to see in the package, but I'll take it out. Nice little bait. Again, there's two in the package. Yeah, I think the small baits really do well in the winter. This is probably worth about $1.69. I mean, we could look these prices up. I'm just guessing. I have no actual idea. Up next, we have an interesting looking bait here. Uh, Lorden's wow. Original Flatfish. I've never seen anything like this one. <clears throat> this is a throwback to my childhood. Fishing Lake St. Clair up in Michigan, trolling for walleye. My dad swore by these things. And a lot of people probably never saw them. I've never seen that in my life. It looks old. Even the packaging looks like it's ancient. What he would do was put a, uh, like a half a night crawler on the treble hook and then troll with these. And this is called a flatfish. Interesting looking. The uh, whole thing <clears throat> looks interesting. Yeah. They don't really resemble anything, but they have a fantastic action in the water when you're retrieving them. I'm not sure I would call this a panfish bait. It's a little bit big for most panfish. I mean, it's got a big old treble on there. Um, but if I was going to maybe fish for walleye or sauger, saw a guy down here in Kentucky or go up north and fish for walleye, this would be something that I would give a chance to. Interesting. Okay, up next we have Mismo Bait Company, that edge. Looks like little plastic worms here. Black. Shiny black jig bodies of some sort. These are tube jigs also. They got a coating on them. They're kind of slimy inside and outside the package. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It looks interesting. I don't know about the, the deep black color. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the color. But it looks like you could easily re replace the bodies on this. So maybe that's, a, maybe that's what they're for. I mean, that's... That's two dollars worth of jig bodies. I don't think we're going to add up to seventeen eighty eight or twenty five, but yeah, maybe the black ones for clearer water. Ruby, oh, come here, Ruby. That's our troublemaking little dog. Come here, Ruby. Not much you can say about jig bodies. Um, there's two things left in the box. Pack Eagle Claw ball head jigs. Those are pretty standard. 16th ounce. Nice small hook on them. Is it a 10 count? But there are three different colors if you notice. They're white with black eyes, and it looks like they have maybe maybe a glow in the dark or just a chartreuse tip on them. So a lot, a lot of color going on. And there's 10 in the pack. These are a few bucks for a pack. Good stuff. Last but not least, if you want to do it, go for it. 
we have here Lucky John Pro Series Orange 2.4 inch nine pieces at a box with a strong mackerel scent. Oh, I've never seen that one before either. Strange cross between a worm and a curly tail grub and a swim bait. I like the color though. I mean in the summertime or the springtime, the fall time, probably probably a fine bait to try to catch some decent sized crappies on. Stuff like that. Can't tell you where they're made because I can't read that small. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of this company before, but nine of them in here, that's a that's a strange amount. So $17.88 at your local Walmart store. We got six things, and I'll hold up what I can hold up. Jacob will hold up what he can hold up. Again, this black color, I don't know about the black. This is what the $17.88 got. Now, I'm pretty certain that you could walk into most any tackle store anywhere in the country and walk out with this for under a $20 bill. Uh, I would agree with that. I'm going to pull up Mystery Tackle Box, their website here, and uh, give you what their prices are for their subscriptions. Um, so they have a couple different options. They have the $20, $20 a month for the regular box, which I uh, assume is this one here. It's the same color and everything. And then next they have a thirty month, a thirty dollar a month pro version that claims to have a forty dollar value, and then an elite, ver elite box that's forty dollars a month with sixty dollars in value. You can change, you can change the species and the plan on their website. Free shipping. Um, I think this was a good test to buy one in the store without having to do a full-time commitment to a subscription. I agree. Um, let's see. Gander Outdoors, looking up the Warden's F7 Flatfish. Uh, $4.60 for the version that has two hooks on it. This only has one hook. So, yeah, I'll pull up. $4.60. Right. It wouldn't be a Lawrence Outdoors podcast if the battery didn't die halfway through what you were doing. So, I don't know where we left off. Uh, you were showing off the uh, slab runner. The slab runner here. <clears throat> I looked this up. On the TT Blackmore, whatever that is, fishing group website. Monkey Milk, underspin, $3.25. Okay. So we'll round that off to five. <clears throat> We're at eight and a quarter. On what I've. These no. Can't be worth. So you're, you're not making out on a deal. I, I'm not going to say you're losing too much, but. I mean, I guess it's fun. It's probably a great gift if you got somebody, you know, who's a fisherman and you don't really know what to buy them, but you know they love to the fish. This would be probably, you know, they'd be like, oh, man, this is cool. Thanks. I appreciate it. But if you're a serious fisherman and you're out spending 20 bucks, you can probably do better than this, just go in and buy what you need. Mm -hmm. So I stand by my save your subscription money, go to your local mom and pop. Because you go in there anyway to buy your minnows or your worms, I hope, and uh, throw them the twenty bucks and get what you need that day. You want to pick a pick a winner out of the box? What's your favorite thing? Oh, uh, my favorite thing, just for nostalgia, is going to be the flatfish. For putting into actual use, I think I'm most excited to try this underspin with the Bobby Garland body on it. I agree with the Bobby Garland. Nothing but good stuff for the, for the crappie with the Bobby Garland. I mean, otherwise, there's. there's Two bags of plastic bodies, some jig heads, and you 
you know, two jig heads with a plastic body on. There's not a lot of excitement going on in the box. Mm -hmm. Pretty basic stuff. Do they didn't even give us anything to rig live bait on? Nope, no hooks. So other than the jig body, you know. But like I said, it'd be a great gift, but I wouldn't spend my money on subscribing to this. Yep. All right. Well, uh, thank you for tuning in this episode, of Lawrence Outdoors. And you know, if you're into this kind of thing. I happened upon this uh, apparently really popular casting reel on Amazon. Uh, maybe we'll open this thing up next time <laughs> and talk about it. I'm not a bait caster. I do not have any success with these things. But the reviews say they're super easy. They got three different braking systems. So I picked this reel up. I picked up a pole to go with it. And we'll see what happens. Which pole is this one? Hopefully. Speed stick laser. Lose by lose. So maybe next time you'll see that. Until then, keep your powder dry and your lines tight. I mark. That's Jacob. This is Lawrence Outdoors where it's always a catastrophe. <laughs> and we'll tune in next time for the dead battery segment.